the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it, for the time is near. Hi, my name is Jennifer Jill Schwerzer. This is Lee Gaban. This is Delon Lawrence. So, um, personally, my story I didn't grow up in the church. I um, went to high school with Delon. That's how I met him. He would beatbox and I would rap. And so we started collaborating, made some albums together, got to the point where we had kind of like a following. And um, because of our different beliefs, he said he didn't want to make music together anymore. So we made a deal that I would read the Bible for 15 minutes a day and um, not make music on the Sabbath. And through this, seeds were planted. I got to know who Jesus was by reading the gospels for myself. And God really worked in my life to the point where I decided I wanted to follow him fully. And um, that is what got me here now where I'm actually rapping and singing about the book of Revelation. So my story is that I have a long history of recording, writing songs, recording music, singer songwriter, recording artist. And in 2009, I decided, I felt impressed by God to study the book of Revelation, but do it by putting all the various sections into verse and make some songs out of some of them. I started to do that and I got the idea of producing an album based on the book of Revelation. But I knew it was too much for me to do, so I asked several, several of my professional musician friends if they would be willing to help out, and none of them responded. It was kind of surprising to me. Meanwhile, I met Lee and Delon. They were barely out of their teens, just these young kids, and they were involved in like hip-hop music and rap, and it really wasn't my kind of music. But it was interesting, and they were doing some interesting things with it. Shortly after that, I felt impressed by God to see if they wanted to be involved in producing this album based on the book of Revelation. Delon wanted to get into music producing. Lee is a very gifted songwriter and spoken word artist and a singer. And we started to swap songs and share. And to make a long story short, they said yes. Yep, exactly. Now, what's really amazing is when Jen asked me to work on this album, this The Lamb Wins huge revelation project, when she asked me to do this, I was just about to graduate and I was actually planning to do nursing with my life because I wanted to make money even though I had fully majored in broadcasting. I was kind of doing nursing as a minor and then I would go to nursing school after I graduated. So I started to pray and ask God what he wanted me to do and Jen came into my life and God showed me that he actually had because I thought it was impossible to actually have a career in, this, in, in sound engineering in the church. Um, but God showed me that that was possible and, and what he did was he answered my prayer by giving me a spot to work on this album and so we've been working on this music and guys it's been a journey understand that this is not about taking your money or about us just raising money for ourselves. if we knew how big this project would be we would not do it it is clear that 45 God, songs exactly and it is clear that God was obviously leading because he started us off small and it just kept growing okay and that's how God seems to work 
And it's so cool because Delon and Lee have stretched themselves musically because I did a totally different kind of music. So the music spans the spectrum from folk to classical. A lot of it's very classical. There are scripture songs and there are things with more of an urban contemporary feel. But all of them are for the purpose of communicating the content of the book of Revelation. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. That Jesus Christ is a center. Okay. And the name of the project is The Lamb Wins. It summarizes it perfectly. It's the good news that God and his love and mercy and, and self-sacrifice and goodness ultimately wins the battle against evil. It's the message that love is power. And that's the message that we want to share through this album. So we're asking you to help us with that. Please donate, give generously to this. We're setting our goal at 8,000. We really need more than that. We've already poured our resources into this project to get it recorded, but we need to print it and we need to do some other things. So um, please uh, give generously and help us to exceed our goal of 8,000. Yeah, and understand guys, understand that we've poured out into this project so much so that we've recorded like 45 songs so far. Yeah, so it's not like we're just getting we're your money well to start it. off. Yeah, yeah, we're actually very close to ending this, but this last set of money is really gonna help us, okay, with the completing processes of this production. We need to print the CD. It's gonna be a double CD because it's 45 songs and we also need to produce a documentary to go along with exactly. it. Exactly. Documentary with music videos. How yes. epic is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please yeah. help us out. Yeah, please. The lamb wins. Love is power. All right. May God be with you all. <laughs>